today I'm going to take you over five tips that I use to help me de-stress from mommy time. Today's video is in collaboration with Misty J. Be sure to go and check out her video after you watch this one for five more ways on how to de-stress so you can be completely stress-free. She's a mommy vlogger that also does photography and cleaning videos, all sorts of stuff all over the gambit, so be sure to check out her channel. Don't get me wrong, being a mom is the most gratifying job in the world. I love being a mom, I love my kids, I love my husband, but guess what? Sometimes they stress me out. Let me take you through five ways to de-stress right now. So we're gonna start off with number five. My first tip is to take a mommy timeout. Okay, mommy timeouts are not like kid timeouts. They are so much better. Have you ever had that time where something happens and you just wanna scream? You just can't handle it in the moment? That is the perfect time for a mommy timeout. You just need to take a minute to step away and relax and regain control of your senses. Shut yourself in a closet, shut yourself in the bathroom, lock yourself in your room, whatever. Turn on the TV for the kids, hand them some chocolate. It doesn't matter what you do in that 10 minutes, but it's time for you to just so you have a few minutes to decompress and calm down. On to tip number four. So tip four helps everyone out. It is to get out of the space that you're in. If you are getting stressed out at the house and you just ugh, are fed up, put the kids in the car, go to the park, take a walk, go to the store, whatever, just get out of the space. Take yourself out of the situation, go to a different place, go to a different area, leave those bad vibes, come back later, those bad vibes will be gone. Number three is to do something for someone else. So anytime that you are doing service, you take the focus off of yourself. If you're not focused on yourself, you can't be stressed out about yourself. So take the time to do something for someone else. Now I'm not talking about making a big dinner or a plate of cookies or something for somebody else. That can cause more stress. If it doesn't cause you stress to make cookies, go for it. Me, I'm not a baker. I do not like making cookies. Just give them a call if you know that they've been having a hard time. Do something nice for someone else because I promise you, if you're not focused on yourself, all of that stress will go away. Plus, if you're helping somebody else out, you also might be helping them to de-stress. So it's a win-win situation and you're teaching your kids how to do service for other people. So tip number two is music. I found that if I get stressed out or I'm in a bad mood and our house needs a mood change, music is the key to that. The kitchen is our dance floor. If I'm in a bad mood, I go into the kitchen, I turn the music up, and within five to ten minutes, everybody's mood has changed. Everyone is laughing, having fun, and dancing around, and the stress is gone. If we're laughing, we can't be stressed out. So music is the key. Okay, my number one mama jama best stress relieving tip that I have is exercise. So scientifically speaking, exercise creates endorphins. Endorphins are a hormone produced by your body to help make you happy. Not only do the endorphins help me to relieve my stress, when I go and work out and exercise, I encompass a lot of these other tips all into one. I get out of the space, I have me time, I have my music that makes me happy, and I create endorphins that naturally make my brain make me be happy. I usually try to do exercise in the morning, so that sets the rest of my day off right. I find that if I work out in the morning, I'm energized, I'm happy. Because I have more energy, I have more patience. Because I have more patience, I am nicer to my kids. And because I'm nicer to my kids, they are happy and excited to go to school and know that mom is happy and excited with them. Did you know that studies show that our relationship with our kids is largely dependent on how we manage stress? So if we can learn how to manage our stress better, then they in turn learn how to manage their stress better. If you found these tips helpful, please like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to go over to Misty J's channel and check out her five tips on de-stressing as well. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye.